A common tactic of the creationist, the bullshit merchant, the pseudoscientist, is to respond to the evidence that shows that their bizarre claims are unfounded, un unfounded and incorrect by demanding that the person who debunked their pet theory should provide a better explanation for the data that was presented. Sorry, that is not going to wash. But it's amazing how many people allow themselves to be led down that particular garden path. Because it is natural for people, when presented with a challenge, to respond to the challenge. But in this particular case, there is no need. The original response was made to show that the crazy claim was incorrect. That has been achieved. After that, it would of course be nice if a better explanation could be found. It would be very interesting to explore evidence that would lead to better explanations, certainly. But it will not do to pretend that the debunk never happened. And unless the original person who made the claim is willing to accept that their claim has been debunked, the conversation should be declared over, over and out. A creationist who after being presented with evidence that the earth is billions of years old, tries to lead you down the garden path by demanding you explain how life was created from non-life, is not worthy of a response. And similarly, for example, somebody like von Helten, who when presented with evidence that shows that no object one-third the size of the sun could possibly have made its way through this solar system because the planet's orbits have not been disturbed, then it doesn't matter that he can show us photographs that show something that we cannot explain or that we can only have, you know, vague guesses about what might be shown on that photograph. What we do know is that we are not looking at an object one-third the size of the Sun in our solar system. That is what we're definitely not looking at. And that's the end of that discussion. Whatever else we might be looking at is beside the point. Whatever other evidence there might be to suggest that there's something awry with Earth, for example, is beside the point. What is the point is that a claim was made and that that claim has been shown to be false. The discussion can only proceed when that simple fact has been acknowledged. And that's all there is to say about that. Just one more thing, one final thing, and that is to just point out how cowardly it really is for somebody to first block a person and then make a long-winded video about that person. By all means, block whoever you like. That functionality is there for a reason and you are perfectly entitled to use it whatever way you see fit. But I cannot help but think that if somebody blocks another person and then makes a video about that person, knowing that that person cannot directly reply to what's being said, that's chicken, lily-livered, yeah, that's really, really sad.